Hey guys, what's up? It's me again with another video. Um, this video here I want to talk about, so the last video I put it before this one, I talked about AEW, I'm sorry, not AEW, NXT, and my thoughts on um, the overall product um, since moving to their new night being Tuesday. The topic of this video I wanted to get into is AEW. Now that NXT is in the review mirror and on a different night of the week, I want to talk about AEW, its ratings, um, how, how it's been so far, uh, being unopposed, and kind of like moving forward um, the rest of the year, uh, uh, being unopposed to NXT. Um, so, let's just face the facts here. Um, AEW, um, their highest rating show have been their debut on, on TNT, their debut show. Um, they did have a second show that was their highest, highest rated show. I can't remember what, what was on it. Um, but it did end up getting a second, like million views or whatever. Um, like maybe almost a year later, but during that entire time, AEW has always kind of shifted from, you know, 900,000 to be like their, their cap. And then they dropped to like low, to like a low 800,000. Um, and then they kind of stayed there for a while consistently until about a month ago. Um, honestly, not even a month ago, I'd even say, um, going back to their last pay-per-view revolution in February, since that, that, since, since that pay-per-view in February, AEW's ratings had just been gone on a decline, like, tremendously. Part of it is because, obviously, them being opposed with NXT, but also, in my opinion, I even made a video on this, um, talking about how I really felt like from the fart ending that happened at that, that firework with that pay-per-view, um to just some, a few other things I, I can't think of right now, but basically really like that, that fart ending of that pay-per-view, um, that people just tuned out of AEW and you really see that, saw that reflecting. Cause then they started to get like 700,000, 750,000, 724,000. And then obviously their last lowest score was against, uh, which completely understandable was when they went up against NXT when NXT had their uh, part one or night one of their takeover show they got like 650,000 views for AEW in the ratings and I was like new low for AEW and it's kind of scary now going to lat well their first week being unopposed since NXT had gone to uh, Tuesdays AEW hit like 1.2 million views, which officially became their second, their new second highest rating episode since their debut episode on TNT. Great numbers. Great numbers. Now, a lot of things could have been, a lot of things you can easily say were contributing factors as to why they hit that 1 million. That being uh, NXT being unopposed, um, uh, 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 having Mike Tyson on that episode, yeah, because Mike Tyson was was advertised to be on that episode. Um, the weekend leading up to that uh, episode of Dynamite, you had Chris Jericho on the Stone Cold Steve Austin podcast, um, talking about AEW and mentioning certain stars and and things of that sort. So you probably got a lot of people on the Peacock app that heard of Chris Jericho, know nothing about an AEW. And say, oh, let me check my TV, local TV listings. And they tuned in to Wednesday night to see Dynamite. Which is, so they kind of got some free advertisement there. Um, I, Because I, I was looking at that and I was like, on Wednesday night, I even looked at my Twitter feed. And there were a lot of people who just watched NXT only that said, hey, this is my first time watching AEW. They kind of knew of AEW. But this was their first time watching it on a Wednesday night because they would always watch NXT Wednesday night and they wouldn't even bother with AEW. But now the NXT is moved to another night. They say, hey, you know what? I'm going to watch NXT for the, I'm sorry, uh, Dynamite for the first time. 
had a lot of people I saw on Twitter, wrestling fans, make that exact uh, declaration there or statement. So there are a lot of, you could say, first time watchers. Um, so so those three ingredients, key ingredients, I think was what really contributed to Dynamite's first on a post episode getting a high rating. The real test would be would be the following weeks. So last week, AEW got another million views. Now it was down from the previous week. I think they lost about a hundred thousand people viewers, which that's a if it was like you know say five or ten thousand, but a hundred thousand that's that's a decent little piece of pie. Uh, for people who tuned in for the first time for from the previous week, and then they just dropped off um, from week two of Unopposed Dynamite. Uh, be interesting to see what um, this week's number this week's number would be. But the point is, is that for two weeks now, AEW has hit that million view mark, and a lot of people have always wondered why. Why hasn't NXT hit that million mark? Um, TNA. Back in their day on primetime television, Thursday nights would hit, had a loyal, steady, dedicated viewership of 1 to 1.2. And I think maybe like 1.3, 1.4, maybe not 1.4, but around 1 to 1.2 uh, million viewers every Thursday night. How come AEW can't replicate those numbers? Um, which were all valid, you know, questions, you, you, you know, that, that wrestling fans will, will bring up. Um, but a really the, the big contributing factor as to why AEW really hasn't cracked a million viewers, you know, is because you had NXT, you had NXT opposing it, um, and, and, and really cut the, the viewer audience in half. And I don't care what anybody says, I'm going to still keep on saying it. The same audience that AEW, you could say caters to or dictates to, which is the internet wrestling marks, whatever. NXT is the exact same thing. Two sides of the same coin are NXT and AEW. Um, how they book their stars might be different. How they how the presentation of the show is different, and everything else, or brand awareness is different. But they both cater to the same audience. So Wednesday nights, if you were someone that you like AEW but you also like NXT, but you didn't like you know Raw and SmackDown. Wednesday night was kind of a, I mean, we have DVRs. You could record one show and then watch the other one later. But the point is, in terms of, for those that are available to watch it, you know, just live, right then and there, the audience was split. Now that NXT's moved on to a different night, you can get those fans who will probably switch channels back and forth, switch switch channels, (laughs) back and forth, who's a fan of both, who's a fan of both shows, they can now watch NXT unopposed on Tuesday, and then they can watch Dynamite unopposed on a Wednesday. So overall, it's really beneficial for both brands. But for AEW in particular, they can keep hitting that million, million, uh, million, one million to over a million viewership in the ratings. Um, and I hope I hope they continue to grow. I mean, like I said, week the first week of hitting the million. They had a lot of key ingredients as to why that contributed to a, a million views. Last week, there was no Mike Tyson. Um, and to me, I think I thought last week's show was far better than the previous show that had Mike Tyson in it. Um, I mean, Darby Allin main eventing with uh, uh, Jungle Boy, excellent match. Uh, 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 Powerhouse Hobbs with his match against Christian. I thought was was a, a fun match. I thought last week's show was from top to bottom. Last week's show was really really good, and I thought it was better than the, the the episode that Mike Tyson was in the week prior. But that one got a lower rating. But whatever the case may be, they still hit a million million views. It's definitely going to be interesting to see if AEW can continue to keep that million one point one one point two million viewership over the next couple of weeks to over, you know, the rest of the duration of the year. And then eventually to see what 2022 will look like. Can that go up from 1 million to 2 million? Is that, it's, 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 
it's going to be a different conversation now for AEW. It's going to be a different conversation. And it's actually more pressure, I feel, for AEW now. Because now, you don't have NXT to oppose you. So now, AEW, they got to put their money where their mouth is now. Now they have to put on, you know, good storylines, good shows. And I'm not saying every show is going to be, you know, an A-plus show. Because it's not. There were some. There have been some AEW Dynamite shows that were a dud. It happens. You're you're writing a a you know a show for 365 days a year. You're going live, and so far some of them have been taped due to the pandemic. But the point is, you're going to get some duds. Not every show is going to be a home run. So that that's to be expected, or should be expected, the fans at least. But now is the time for AEW to really put their nose to the ground and just like head for the fences and really swing for the fences and really show that unopposed by ourselves on Wednesday night, we are an alternative to WWE. We have some of the best wrestlers on our roster in the world, whatever the case may be. Be interesting to see where they are at this week, considering they're coming off of the Impact Wrestling pay-per-view that Kenny Omega uh, just won the Impact World Championship from. I think I'll do a review of that as well um, in that, my next video. But it'd be interesting to see. Um, I hope AEW continues their success. Like I said, I, I love the brand. It's my favorite American wrestling company, along with NXT as well um, here in the States. But you guys let me know what you think about the the topic that I mentioned here at hand. I want to hear your thoughts in the box below. Do yourself a favor, hit that like button and subscribe. Peace out.